are all the weavers. Very excitedly flapping their wings, trying to advertise that their nest is the best and that the female should choose them. So it's the males that do all the dangling upside down, but I'm sure at this time of the year, they probably would have a mate already and perhaps they've even laid eggs. Maybe some of them have even got chicks already. These are village weavers. Hello guys, very excited. I'm actually gonna just sit very quickly and just have a little listen to them. It's one of my favorite noises that you hear in these summer months. Isn't that just a lovely noise? Now, I love all the bird calls. It's my favorite thing. It actually puts me to sleep a little bit. It's one of my favorite things, just sitting and listening to them. And then, well, having a little siesta to the bird calls. And some of you might be thinking it's quite silly, especially to the new viewers that have perhaps just tuned in. And why have these birds built their nest over the water? And it's actually a very clever strategy. So why they do this is that there are not many cats are gonna to wanna to swim or, or attempt to climb those branches, especially those thin branches that those nests are made at the end of, because they could snap and then they'll fall into the water. But it's also quite difficult for those chicks because they really only have one chance to fledge and if it's not a good chance, unfortunately they're gonna fall straight down to the water where they will meet their fate. And it's actually quite common, but as common as that is, these birds have very, very high success rate. Look at that one, he's still building. You're a little bit late, my friend. But isn't this just absolutely incredible? This is really cool. So the, the most amazing way that they start to build the nest, but I, what I'm gonna do is we'll actually chat about it when you come to us again. It seems as though Mr. Hosanna is sneaking up to some elephants. A long green grass. And it's really amazing as to how persistent these weavers really are. Now, as we look at them, we mainly just see males. I haven't seen too many females. They're usually a lighter brown in color, not quite as colorful and as yellow uh, as the males are. And Shelly, you were wondering, where do the females go? Or where do they wait while the males construct the nests? They're actually quite gregarious. And I haven't seen too much of it here, but I used to see a lot of it in the Eastern Cape in South Africa, where you'll be driving along and out of the grass, you'll see an entire group of uh, females, you know, maybe 10 to 30 all together, all living about. And then eventually they split up once they've found their mates. So they're probably at the, uh, at the moment, probably all just waiting around, waiting for a potential nest. David, I think there's a female that just landed, just to, down to the left on the branch, goes zoom straight in and a bit to the right. Go up, 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 up. Okay, go to the right. There we go, there's a female. Do you see that? Very brief. So there's one hanging around. There's a couple of them, but not too many. So perhaps they've already chosen their mates. But let's have another look at our friend. Well, he's left, he's left his, uh, his, t uh, his nest at the moment, but I'm sure he'll be back shortly. So there it is. Now you can see there's actually quite a few different nests that have sort of half been constructed. And these weavers won't just make one nest. Sometimes it takes up to five attempts before eventually they'll get a hit with a, a potential mate and she'll decide that she really likes that one. And then if you know they start building their nest, they'll abandon the ones that aren't favorable. But I was doing some reading the other day about these weavers and it's actually quite remarkable. They say that one nest will take about 15 hours to construct and I'm sure that goes on about how experienced you are because I'm sure if it's your first time making a nest it might take you a little bit longer you can see this one it's not looking too great just yet I suppose things always start out a little bit messy but the most amazing thing is that they use up to 400 blades of grass or pieces of palm trees that type of thing to weave their nests isn't that unbelievable and I feel sorry for the person that got stuck with the task of, uh, well, now we need to try and see uh, how much material these birds use in their nests. Can you imagine having to deconstruct one of these nests and counting every bit of grass? I think that would be quite amazing. But I just think that these birds are incredible and such hardworking birds. Well, I suppose it's really only at this time of the year that they have to be hardworking. The rest of the time, I suppose they can sort of relax a little bit. But he's persistent. He comes back with a new piece of grass and he keeps weaving. And, and like I said, it's looking a little bit untidy. 
and it will take him some time. Oh wow, we're going to very quickly go across to Hosano again and Tristan.